time heading into the Christmas break. Yeah, I mean, it, it was not an ideal situation. Um, we were talking the other day about how it was set before we found out. The Montana game was already set, um, and we had a contract in place. And, um, you know, our team has gone through hard things. They've, they've shown that they're tough um, with the sickness and the injuries and the three games in a row and out in um, the Bahamas and kind of that coming back and then the travel that followed that. And, you know, they're, they're tough. And I think that, um, you know, <laughs> you, you want them to be tough. But at the same time, like, you also want to set them up for success. And, um, you know, we did our best in the, in the days between to set them up for success, to practice the things we needed to practice and rest them in the ways that we thought we could rest them. And, you know, I think a little bit, we, we showed a little bit of that when you go game, game, game. Um, and we, we went through a stretch where we could have gotten some really good practices in early in the season when it was kind of game, injured people, injured people, you're trying to rest. So I think that, um, you know, they did a, a nice job of just being able to turn from prep day to game. It's a different prep day to game because these teams were all three very different, um, in my opinion. I, I know they're all three physical, all three good rebounding teams, all three kind of get after you on defense. But offensively, they run a lot of different things. Their strengths lie in different ways. Um, maybe maybe BYU and um, Montana have the same strength with a, a really dominant post player, but they do it different. Uh, so I, I just thought that they they were the, the physical tough, but they were also mentally tough and prepared to not let up. Um, I. I yelled at them once today um, because I thought that they were um, not focused anymore. But before the game, I complimented them and said, you guys, I'm not worried about this uh, as far as a, a lack of focus because of Christmas because we're so veteran. We start five upperclassmen, um, and then we get young quick. But, um, you know, I, I think that they really played well over the, the entirety of the three games. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a coach proud when, when you guys do what you were able to Oh yeah, I mean, I'm I'm proud of these guys for a lot of things. Um, you know, I, I think that they we we out remounted every team, not by as many as we wanted to. Um, we um, made free throws most of the time. You know, we didn't waver really, and we never looked like we were um, shook by the situation. And I I don't know if Montana they didn't they didn't uh, tie it, uh, but we got to two, right and. And so we, we didn't look shook at that time. The other teams made a run, um, and, and we didn't ever look shook at that time. And so I, I just think that they really stayed steady, uh, which you got to do in this scenario. 12 and 2, do you guys, obviously the record, but out there what you see on the court, do you feel like we're, you guys are where you want to be at this point in the season heading into WCC now? Uh, you know, I, I think we got to get better. Um, we're, we're always trying to get better. I think we're in a good place for where a team that's played 14 games should be. Um, but I think we got to get better for a team that's played 16 games and, you know, better for a team that's played 18 games. So I think we're, we're, we're not as good as we could be right now, but we're pretty good. I think we're where we're supposed to be. Um, we still have things to work on. Um, obviously, some of those things showed today, and that's why you play different teams, and um, you know, that's why different teams run different offenses, and they're trying to exploit things that they can exploit and they're trying to be strong and um, Montana has great spacing and that was hard um, for a lot of the game we finally got a little bit more dialed in on how to defend with their spacing but I think you know we we still have some areas to improve and I think that most good teams do at this time yeah but the impact Brenna's made on this team I mean can you speak to that a little bit and that that's probably the play you anticipate getting you know what you showed tonight especially yeah, I mean, she does She does a really good job. She's still trying to get better, too, you know what I mean? So, um, But we're really happy to have added her to our team. Um, I talk, I've talk. i talked about it most of the time. People have asked about it. And um, she just spaces, and she's someone you have to worry about. And um, a lot of times we've seen that more in a post play, with a post player, that you're the primary post player, and then everybody else gets to be secondary, right? And they've all taken their turn there. Um, and right now uh, she's getting a lot of attention, and that's creating good looks for us inside. That's creating good looks for our other perimeter players. And um, she's able to, to score off of them as well. I, I think it's a real problem. If you look at our starting lineup, they all, they all got in double digits. And I think that tell me where you're going to help from. You know what I mean? And she just adds into that mix with, with Kaylee um, going out for a while. Um, she fit in really nicely um, as far as, OK, great. You still have a hard time finding a place to help off of. And um, most teams haven't obviously been able to figure it out. You talked about the troubles of space they really do spread the mm -hmm. floor and go for the three. What were you able to do late that kind of you were able to adjust to and kind of shut them down? Well, I thought Michaela and Lynn specifically did a really good job of stopping them from going to their strong hand, finally. It took till late, um, but Sammy Fatkin is really good to her right, 
and uh, KK got on her right hand and kept her left and then um, contested without fouling. Um, Gina's really good going left and they're, and they're good going both ways but not as strong to their weaker hand. And so I, I thought that that was a huge part because if they're, if they're going to their strong hand, they can finish better, um, they can stop and pass better, everything is better that direction. And they're, they're more aggressive, they're, they're Division one basketball players so of course they can dribble to the other side but the finishing isn't the same in the passing. And so that was I think a, a big key to getting some of those stops was making them go to their weak hand. I know you played two conference games, but this is kind of the unofficial halfway point of the season when you take a break for the holidays. Are you happy with where your team is as you head into the second half? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think that um, kind of like the question earlier, like, are we where we want to be? Are we as good as we, like, you know, I think we're still getting better. You're getting better every day till the very end. Um, I think that was one of the best parts of last year's team is they just kept getting better. And I think that we got to keep this team, keep getting better. I mean, we were exploited a little bit on some of the rebounding um, the, this weekend. Again, we, we won the glass, but we didn't win as decisively as we wanted to in each of the three. San Diego, we did, but the other two, not as much. Um, there are some offensive things we need to clean up. We still have some people run plays incorrectly. Um, so halfway point you'd like to and, and to their credit they're playing a lot of positions so with the injuries and stuff we got a lot of them playing multiple positions and so um, but I think I'm certainly satisfied with where we are and then certainly we have to keep getting better you're satisfied are you happy I'm happy okay. <laughs> coaches are never happy really <laughs> I mean <laughs> I have to make myself be happy sometimes but I'm, I'm happy they've done a good job Oh, I'm so excited to just be with the family and just get a few days to like just rest all of us like, just rest our minds for real because it's been nonstop for a while. When do you get back? Tomorrow, like two. Yeah. Great game today. Um, showing some offensive uh, stuff out there as well as your defense. Uh, talk about that first <coughs> quarter. You made some big plays. Kind of helped turn that game um, your way. Yeah, no, I just think um, we all, like, I feel like the past few games in the fourth quarter, like, we've all been, like, dialing in, and we're that's when we're deciding to put the game away, and, like, we need to start being able to do that earlier on, but um, just as a team, I feel like everybody did, was, did everything that the scout said, and we stopped their best players, and we made shots, and that's what we need to do. Do you get to stay down there when the team comes down, or do you have to come back here? No, I have to come back. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> can, can, Michaela, can you just talk about how important getting a few days off is, not, not physically, but mentally? Um, yeah, it's just a lot. Like, people, like, we do practice, of course, and we have the games, but it's just like we have the film sessions, and then we got the one-on-one -on -one film sessions with the coaches, and then we have the lunches, and then we have, we just do so many things that, like, people don't even realize that we do weights. So it's just nice to, like, mentally not have any, like, priorities and, like, just be able to, like, just enjoy with our families right now. Can you say the question, just the metal break you're going to get? Yeah, I think our team is so tough, and we've been resilient, I think, through a lot of the ups and downs of the season so far, but um, I think if any team needs a break, it's this team, too. There's just a lot of, obviously, there's health issues, but it is good just to take a step back and um, enjoy time with the family and kind of be a normal person for a little bit. Um, we don't get a lot of that, and I know everyone's really excited for this break. Talk a little bit about your shooting in the first half. It just seemed like you were in the zone. Did it feel that way to you? You know, I don't know. It's just it was great spacing. I mean I mean it's it's cheesy to talk about how great the passes were from but it was true. I mean Kaylin and, and KK they they were they were hitting today and um, it was Kaylin in the second half and it's just it just happened to be me in that first half. But it's really fun to play with these guys because they're always looking up, they're always trying to find you and um, it's just they're great teammates. It's gonna be WCC now from now on. Mm -hmm. um, for, for you, Brenna, anything that you can take from the Pac-12 experience? Um, I think it's like every conference, it doesn't matter how good the team is. Once you hit conference play, it's going to be a battle if you don't come to play. And I've known, I've learned to never take any team for granted. I mean, they could be ranked tw um, 12th at WCC, and it could be a battle. Um, so you can't take any team for granted. They're all capable of winning on any given night, and we got a tough road trip coming up. Is there some personal satisfaction, in fact, the gauntlet you kind of 
kind of went through winning three games in five days, two conference games against three pretty good teams. Is there some personal satisfaction heading into this break that you can take away and feel good about yourself? I think team can breathe a little bit. Um, we've had a couple of stretches where we've had the three game in five days, or the Bahamas, it was three games in three days. And um, it's finally we have, okay, we have, you know, six, I think six days, seven days for our next game. Um, just kind of take a step back, breathe a little bit, work on our own stuff. Um, and I think that's what our team needs, and, and <laughs> we're pretty excited about it.